Hey everybody, Ronaldo Offerman here with my DMX video manuals. Today we're going to talk about creating a scene, uh, and there's multiple ways of creating scenes, so we're going to do it the manual way using the faders. Now in the previous episodes, I have discussed, or videos, whatever you want to call them, I have talked about patching your scenes, creating your 3D space, so if you don't know how to get to this point, make sure to watch those videos. Now I went ahead and I just have a basic scene called Blackout, pretty simple. And on the left hand side, this is all the different scenes in case I need to edit or change any aspects. When I click on scene settings, I can go ahead and change uh, select the key. So for example, I'm just going to have B, which basically means, you know, there's a trigger B for blackout. All right. It even shows you on the live portion. I can trigger that by hitting that. You can also tell it how many times you want it to loop. If I go back to the settings, you can even uh, call this scene with the next or previous buttons. I'm going to go down and check that because when I'm on blackout, or I don't want the blackout whenever I'm going between next and previous. I don't want the blackout to hit it. All right, so pretty obvious there. Now on the right hand side, these are the steps. You can choose your fade, your hold, your dimmer functionality as well. So you can bring it up, bring it out, whatever the case may be. And you can also change it over here as far as the steps. And you can change multiple ones of them at the same time. We've got basic copy, paste, delete, new function. We're going to go ahead and create a scene. Now I'm just going to program just the inno spot pros for now and we're just going to call this white chase because i don't really have a name for them but i know i want to do something with white now the first thing i'm going to do is i have to select um to turn on my shutter now i can go here and grab each one that's step one of doing it step two is to click here and it shows me the wheel with all the settings so i'm just going to go ahead and turn on the shutter if you want to know what it does you can also mouse over it so we're going to go ahead and shutter open. You can also grab all the inner spots because it's only really grabbed two of them. So how do I grab all four of them? Well, I can actually just, I'm just going to click on the shutter right here. I'm going to hold my shift key. Now notice that when I hold the shift key and I move it up and down, it controls all of them. All right, so if I hit that, and then I'm going to let go of the shift key. I'm going to click dimmer, hold the shift key, now it brings them all up. Pretty easy. But now let's say that there's multiple dimmers that you need to change all at the same time, right? So let's say all these are up and you want to bring them down. I'm just going to click the first one. I'm going to hold the shift key. Click the last one. See how it selects all of them? I don't let go of the shift key or the mouse and just bring them down. And there it is. I can bring them all down. Okay? So let's say, for example, we want to do the pan and tilt. There it is where I can grab this particular inno and I can move in whatever position I want. So that I can just go ahead and grab these here. And you can grab them individually. Now you may be saying, Arnaldo, that's kind of a pain. Is there an automatic way of doing it? Yes, that's going to be the next video. And it's going to talk about using the generator, the builder, um, you know, multiple names for it. But there it is right there. It's going to tell you a little bit about that. But for now, we're going to make I mean, a simple chase. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my pan. And again, I'm going to hold the shift key so it grabs all of them. And I'm going to start it right there. I'm going to grab the tilt. Then I'm going to click the shift key so it brings it down just like that. I'm going to click uh, micro, or what's it called? That ball, well, micro or fine, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to click, bring them all down. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and select my gobo. Now, again, you can go here. And if you have a profile with the gobo, uh, photos load it, you would see them there. But again, I'm going to shift click and I'm going to move this to, let's just do the gobo shake. And it's actually really cool because you can actually see the gobo shake working. Of course, you can do your rotation. I don't believe Prism shows on this 3D model. It does not. So whatever, that's not a big deal. There's also your focus, so I can focus all of them to show exactly where I'd like them to. And I don't need to mess with the color. But there it is right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on next on the second step. All right. And you're going to see that it creates a whole new one there. Okay. So if you don't want it to blank out, just delete that. Copy, paste, and there it is there. So now I'm going to grab them all. And let's grab our tilt. Okay. Now we're going to copy, paste. We're going to bring our tilt down. 
Now I'm gonna let go of the shift, click the next one. There it is. Now watch what happens when I hit play. You're gonna see that they jump. Well, why are they jumping? Well, because the fade time is at zero and the hold time is at one. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into well, we gotta stop it first. Just gonna go ahead and grab that. And we're gonna select our fade time to be, oh, we don't need it to be a minute. Let's set it to be about four seconds, and I'm gonna still keep the hold at one second. Now it only affected this one. If I want to do all of them, I have a couple of choices. I can shift click, so I'm gonna shift to hold the shift key, click the last one. And there it is, fade time. Again, we're actually gonna do five seconds. And there it is right there. Or you can also individually edit each one this way too. All right, all right. Now that we have that, I'm just gonna hit play. We see a nice smooth movement. Now, you know, if I say ah, I don't like that whole time, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm gonna hit play. You get a nice smooth motion. If I need to speed it up or slow it down, I can do that just by editing that particular scene. I'm going to go ahead and name this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Okay, so let's say that I want to duplicate this scene and make it in red. I'm just going to hit, make sure it's selected. I'm going to hit duplicate and now we're just going to call it red solo. Shift click. Make sure that you shift or click and then hold the shift key, bring them all red, and now we try it. Now if we want to change to gobo, anything else, you can do that step by step. This also means the same thing with your floods. If you decide you want to change the color of the floods, you can do that. Okay, so it allows you to, you know, easily fix that as you need to. Okay, so now we have the keys already selected, everything's good to go. Now when I go to click on live, there it is right there, the red solo, white solo, red solo. That's basically make it just a quick scene using the manual editor, as I'd like to call it, before we use our scene builder. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Arnaldo Waffman. If you have any questions or if you, any comments or anything like that, requests, whatever the case may be, please leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, thank you so much. Good night and God bless.